Hi, and welcome back. Today what I'm going to talk about, I learned more and more about ham radios, and I noticed something on my Baofeng that I never noticed before. Now, I programmed this with the Chirp software, and I manually put in the offset. And what the offset is, is the difference, the difference when you use a repeater between the receive and transmit frequency. Now, uh, most of mine are, my frequencies I have programmed, I notice are the offset is around 0.6 megahertz. And what I was doing was I was gonna try testing the radios on a simplex channel. And what I noticed when I push the frequency button here and I put in a simplex channel when I transmit it had an offset in there and I didn't notice that before I, I just happened to look at the radio and I noticed when I was transmitting the frequency was changing by 0.6 megahertz so I think that's just how they're set up and I was going to show you how to turn it off in case um you're out there and you're, you want to program a frequency with your uh, buddy and you notice there's an offset on it. So let's take a look. Now here I am on the channels that I have programmed. Um, you can have an A and B channel and on the A channel instead of showing frequency I have it set to uh, name and then on the B channel, I have it set to frequency. So to switch between the two, you push the A and B. So let's go to the B channel, and this is the one I've I programmed in, and if you notice when I push, it stays on the transmit frequency. There's no offset. And that's how I did it in the Chirp software. I didn't put any offset. Now, if I push the frequency mode button, frequency channel mode button, which is the VM button here, you notice I can switch and I can enter my own frequency, which I did here. I put in 146.520. And how it's set up right now, there is an offset set already in the radio that I wasn't aware of. So if I transmit, you can see it goes to 145.920, which is 0.6 megahertz difference, or it's a negative. And what we want to do, well, at least what I want to do, I don't want an offset in here. So if I'm, you know, ever going out hiking and I want to set a simplex channel with one of my friends, I don't want an offset in there. So let me show you how to turn that off. All right, so let's go ahead and turn off the offset. So it stays, the transmit and receive frequency are the same. So we're gonna go in the menu and we're gonna need to scroll through the settings and find the offset. There it is. We push menu again and we're gonna manually put in zero for the offset. And then we push menu again, and we have no offset. So if we go ahead and exit, and when we transmit, you can see the transmit and receive frequency are the same. All right, so there you have it. Um, it seems pretty simple, but it baffled me for a while when um, I never noticed that before. I've never tried to put a uh, manually put a simplex channel in here. And I noticed my other radio wasn't receiving, uh, my friend's radio. And then, um, you know, I looked at it and I go, oh, it's the receive and the transmit channel are different. So it baff like I said, baffled me for a little bit until I thought about it. And then I remembered when I program the Chirp software repeaters, I have to put an offset frequency in it. And that's exactly what it was doing. So once I turned that off, everything was great.
So uh, I just wanted to share that with you. So thanks for watching. Um, I'm really thrilled how my channel's doing, all the new subscribers, and I'm having a lot of fun doing this, and I enjoy sharing my experiences and what I've learned with uh, you guys. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you like my channel, please subscribe. So that's it for today, and I will see you next time.